Well, there is some growing debate over whether migrants here in New York City should be granted expedited work visas. Opponents say that fast-tracking work permits will only draw more asylum seekers to the city, while supporters say allowing the migrants to work will help them get out of the overwhelmed shelter system. Federal law requires that migrants must wait 180 days before they can even apply for work papers. Now some state lawmakers have a new idea. They're pushing for New York-only work visas for migrants. Queens Assemblywoman Jennifer Rajkumar is here. She's behind this new bill. Nice to have you back on Good Day New York. Thank you. Can't get enough of your show. <laughs> uh, well, we're happy to have you here. Thank you for fighting for New Yorkers. But we're wondering, is the governor just posturing on this work visa now? Because, I mean, we saw that she brought in Carl Hasty and Andrew Stewart Cousins this week to her office. They're the two power brokers in Albany. But do you think that she's really going to pull the plug and defy the federal government and give these migrants a work visa? She has to, because at this point, doing nothing is not an option. This is one of the greatest humanitarian crises our city has ever faced. And in the absence of federal action, the state must step up and issue these work visas. And that is why I introduced a bill that will do just that. Okay, we're gonna talk about that bill in a second, but a lot of people on Twitter or X are tweeting this morning concerned about this bill. Because as Dustin J. Equal New York says, maybe I'm wrong, the city says they can't handle the flow coming in. If people get automatic work authorization, wouldn't that send a message to everybody else to hurry up and find a way into this country? No, what it would do is stop these migrants from relying on public handouts. Because when they work, they can support themselves. When they're relying on public handouts, that's not helping anybody. It's not even helping the New Yorkers that are already here. Well, what about the New Yorkers that are the people, the migrants that are not here in New York? I understand that giving them this work authorization will help them currently. But is that not an incentive for other people to be like, I got to go to New York because they're going to authorize me to work right away? Well, that's a good point. But to solve that issue, we need border control. Mm -hmm. We need organization at the border. That's the answer to that problem. When you talk about the answer to that problem, that comes from the top down, right, the federal government. What's your response on the lack of the federal government response to this problem? It's upsetting. I mean, immigration is federally controlled. And I'm heartened to say I led a coalition of 54 lawmakers from across the city. And we wrote to President Biden mm -hmm. and said we need action immediately to handle this crisis. But in the absence of that action, we need to take state action, and, and that's why I've done this. And they have responded saying, hey, this is on Congress. They can't figure out a solution. Correct. It's been very disappointing. Homeland Security uh, Secretary Mayorkas basically blamed the problem on the city, mm -hmm. which is completely unacceptable. <laughs> the Mayor Adams has been doing a wonderful job in a very tough circumstance. And for the federal government to just say it's the city's fault, that's not acceptable. All right, so you brought this up because people are saying it's being mismanaged. How should it be better managed? when we're getting people not just who are in dire need because they're in a, a country that abuses them, we're getting them from all over the world. We're gonna solve the world's problems here in New York City. How do we manage that? Well, the elected officials that are saying it's being mismanaged are really doing a disservice. For example, the comptroller of the city of New York has been using this crisis to score political points. And that is really not what we need right well, now. It hurts New Yorkers. He's, hurts he New Yorkers. was just here this week, and he said um, that we shouldn't make the, the, the migrants uh, a scapegoat. I understand that, okay? They're not a scapegoat, but it is a problem for those of us who are working here and paying taxes here and feel like our services are now going to be cut because we've stretched the system as far as it could possibly go. Yes, well, we need the control of the city of New York to, to focus on finances and solutions. Well, That's what we need. Well, solutions. I, yeah, but where do you get the money? Money doesn't grow on tree. If you used all the money, what do you do? Well, that's why issuing work permits is such a great idea, because then migrants work and they contribute to the tax base. They are actually generating revenue. What happens to an employer who say that they would not be able to deduct the cost of a legal employee off their federal taxes if this goes through? Well, I think what's notable, okay, when you bring up employers, I'm happy you did that. A hundred business leaders came together and they said, we need this right now. Mm. And also the farms in upstate New York have said very loud and clear, we need to hire workers. There's a labor shortage in New York State yeah. of half a million workers. 
What, what labor are we talking about? Because some people would say that uh, these migrants would not be employed in high margin industries in New York City. Well, I think restaurants are interested in hiring. Mm -hmm. Also, we need uh, laborers upstate to work on the farms. But some of the people that are coming over are actually doctors. Yeah. They're professionals, mm -hmm. and they're fleeing just very dangerous circumstances. So we're really seeing people that can cover all professions. So uh, Joe Borelli, who's a councilman here, and he's part of this C Common yes. Sense yes. Caucus, uh, he says this is a terrible precedent, giving a work visa expedited. Yes, well, I think that there are people on both sides of the aisle that do support this. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that allowing people to work is very American. Working hard, that's an American value. So what are you going to do? I mean, we're talking about it, talking about it. When's the vote? When is it going to happen? What's the story? If it were up to me, it would be today. If it were up to me, we'd have a special session in Albany today and take care of this crisis. And where is Governor Hochul on that? We saw her haul in the two biggest power brokers in Albany mm -hmm. to her office this week. Did we hear of a date? Well, I'm happy to say that after I introduced these bills, the governor was questioned and she said, I will entertain a special session. I will entertain these bills. So that's something. And we're hoping for more. I know one thing the governor is not on board with you is for forcing upstate counties to house migrants and pay for, you know, the expenses. That's kind of snuck in that bill, in your bill right now. Well, how do you expect yes. her to sign off on this when she clearly has said, I don't want to force these counties to do the same thing New York is doing? I introduced a bill to do that. That's yeah. correct. But this is a statewide problem. And the fate of New York is important to the fate of the whole state. New York City is an economic engine for the whole state. And so we all have to do our part. If Buffalo had a fiscal crisis, New York City has to do its part. Mm. We are all in this together as a state. Well, good luck. Let's see if anything happens. You, did you give yourself a deadline on this? My deadline is tonight. My deadline is always tonight. Oh, tonight. Tonight every night is my deadline. <laughs> Queens Assemblywoman Jennifer Rajkumar, she means business. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you back on Good Day New York. Yep. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you.